Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are looking at the beast of a random X miner. We will talk through the parts and build of a monster Ryzen 9 3900X Monero miner and in the end look at the massive hash rate. We are not talking one of those chips, we are talking about four 3900X. This means 48 cores and 96 threads of pure Monero mining. You can guess I have been looking forward to this. This video is brought to you by Greg who built this monster and wanted to collaborate to showcase it here for you. So a big big shout out to him and thank you. Before we start I want to tell you to put all the questions you might have and we did not answer in the comments. As with this video we'd really like to make a follow up for you as well. Today we focus on parts built and later hash rate. You're looking at one shelf of four identical 3900X systems. Each of these was built in the same way. So by discussing one build, we discuss all four. For now, he's using the stock coolers, but more on that later. For motherboards, he went with Crosshair 7 Hero. So four X470 boards. Here it is to say that yes, for a pure mining build, you don't need X570. Also though, Greg noted correctly that the BIOS updates for making 3rd gen Ryzen work on all the motherboards can be annoying. Time versus money in this case. They are built with 4 RAM sticks each and one of my most used memory modules there is. It's Corsair Vengeance, clocked to 3600 MHz and totaling 32 GB each. As you know, with Ryzen 9 there are no integrated graphics, so in terms of output controller, he chose GeForce GT 710s, which is a cheap 50 bucks solution for that. Here of course he would have the perfect opportunity to also plunge his feet into GPU mining, as his motherboards, and especially the big shelf we'll talk about in a second, are still having space for cards. Each rig is powered by EFGA 500 watt BSUs, so also here some headroom. That's for the individual builds, but you can see there is more. So firstly, it was built in a way to work as one big shelf unit. So you guys are looking at an Amazon basic shelving storage unit with wheels. <laughs> Phew, that's a lot of tech folks. Besides that, we have some obvious things of course. One monitor to control everything, keyboard mouse, HDMI and Ethernet switches, case fans, cables, extension cords and splitters. You know the deal. Recently, Greg updated the rig with four Wi-Fi cards as well. So now he can roll the whole shelf through his place and same as me, warm his home with his miner. In the past, I personally did not recommend Wi-Fi for mining, as sometimes you can have drops or outages. In the case of the random X monster though, I can report that neither hash rate was affected, nor the stability of the rig. Let's go on to the things you surely are most interested in. The hash rate. In terms of hashing power, you have various decisions to make as always. You could go for efficiency or max hash rate. This machine went with an efficiency setup while not losing too much hash rate. The CPUs are clocked to 3.9 GHz and folks who know 3900X know that there might still be some headroom. But as he's using stock coolers and is looking for an efficient setup, it was fine to leave it like that. For that, also temperatures, even with only stock coolers, never goes beyond the 70s. We are talking about 13,400 hashes per second per CPU, while only using 185 watts. So in total, we are talking about 54,000 hashes per second at around 720 watts. How exactly this setting was achieved, I want to keep for another video, as with this video, I really wanted to focus on the extraordinary build itself. You folks know that I myself am eyeing an 3900X, so if you are interested in a specific tweaking video, please tell me below. I will link my general random X optimization video for you in the top right corner. So folks, what do you think of this machine? I personally love it. Only thing you know about me is that I would already go crazy with CPU coolers, as a machine like that would mean I have 4 slots to try out different things at the same time. Maybe I can nudge Greg also in the direction of cooling and more extreme overclocking in the future. In this regard he already went for one of my favorite cooler brands, Noctures but did not get to update the rigs yet. 
Also as mentioned, I would fill the slots or even the whole shelf up with GPUs, but it is also to mention that Greg went for random eggs for a reason. Reasons why many of us love Monero. Privacy and the fact that it's a huge mining community. One of the few really private projects out there. By the way, today's video fits Monero, as it just had its anniversary last Saturday. If I tell you folks that this monster build was his first build ever in those regards, would you believe me? If you have questions for Greg, please shoot them in the comments, because as mentioned, we'd both like to make a follow-up, depending on what you guys would want to know. Thank you very much for tuning in for this very first episode of a new series I call Miner Showcase as I thought there are more interesting machines in the world out there which I would love to make videos about and bring to your attention. Therefore I would like to work together to get your rig showcased so please don't hesitate to contact me. Best way for that is Discord. Also if you want to get in contact with Greg or if you have any questions for this build as follow up again don't hesitate to write this in the comments. Again a huge shout out to Greg for for reaching out and for wanting his miner showcased. That's already it, a beast of a miner, honestly, proud to have it featured on the channel. You can guess that my own fingers are itching right now seeing this. I wish all the best to each and every one of you, happy mining and bye!